Hello, my name is Kerry Arth, and today we are going to have a little chat about a rumour that quite a few of you have sent to me. And uh, I'm not sure why this has come up now, because looking into it, I think this rumour is like a good week or so old. The thing is, it was picked up by, by Bell of Lost Souls, um, like over the weekend, I think it was. And that seems to be where a lot of, like quite a number of you have, have picked it up from and immediately gone what is this? Look at this. Is this even a thing? So, rather than just throw out a sarcastic tweet, although I have already done that, I thought we'd actually talk about it a little bit, because there are little bits of it that, to be honest, are not completely beyond the realms of possibility. Which, you know, I mean, although in fairness, that can apply to a lot of the rumours, let's be honest, but this this is essentially the, the very basic part of it, is that there is a new box on the way. I mean, you say when, just that there's a new box on the way, which by itself, again, is not really a rumour, it's more just a statement of fact, because at any one given time, Games Workshop will be planning more of the Shadow Spear, uh, Dark Imperium, Tooth and Claw, Wake the Dead, Forge Bane style boxes. You know, they're obviously just going to keep making those, so I guess technically it's a rumour, but it's also something that's just going to be happening, no matter what you say, to be honest, isn't it? The interesting bit is what it contains, and this is where things get a bit weird and a bit... A bit interesting, but also a bit unlikely as well. So, essentially, the rumour monger, as they put it, has suggested it is the Lion versus Imperials. That's really odd, and it doesn't make sense in a couple of different ways for me. But then again, we could be seeing something interesting in the future, if, there, if any part of this turns out to be true. Which would be, it would be nice... But, let's just start off straight away. When you say the lion, you immediately go to the Primarch. The lion. I mean, that's what I immediately jump to. And I'm assuming that's what everyone else jumps to as well. Lionel Johnson. Primarch of the Dark Angels. If you say the lion, it kind of suggests that that is what that is going to be. The thing is, immediately, that's an issue because I do not see Games Workshop ever putting a Primarch in one of those boxes. That seems like a really weird thing to suggest, and it would be an absolutely bizarre thing for Games Workshop to do. They frankly do do so well out of selling them individually or in the triumphant triumvirate. God, such a difficult word to say. A uh, format that Gurney Man experienced. Um, why would you stick them in a box that has a massive discount attached to it? Like that doesn't really make any sense to me. And yeah, you might sell a good number of boxes of people just trying to get the Primark, but you would also just probably shift a shitload of the actual Primark himself, as opposed to messing about with it being involved in a box. It doesn't fit what we have seen with the previous Primark releases at all, so it seems very odd to me that that would, that would be something they would do with the Lion. Now, I could see, I could see a Dark Angels box, like I could see Dark Angels versus whatever, and that storyline being used as a way to bring the lion back, that I could see totally reasonably. I could see them releasing a new box and releasing the lion alongside it. Not in it, but alongside it. And in fact, something that was uh, that was pointed out by uh, 40k Theories, it could be that actually what you'd see is a character in the box, like a remade character, a new model for an existing Dark Angels character, like Belial or Azriel or I mean, we already had that with, uh, with Eldrad, so that seems reasonable that seems like something that could absolutely happen that we could actually see them go okay well here is the dark angel side of the box you've got a, obviously a bunch of primaris you've got this reimagined character this new model for whatever character they pick and then the other side is and that's where it gets interesting because the suggestion is the lion versus imperials now for that to happen that kind of speaks of a sort of civil war setting doesn't it really which, to be honest, I thought we were going to get ages ago. <laughs> it feels very odd that that would be the angle Games Workshop goes with now, because they already set up the idea of there being a civil war and then just got rid of it entirely. You know, when 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 the Primaries first arrived, there was a whole load of stuff about different chapters that wouldn't accept them, that didn't want anything to do with them, that saw them as an affront, that, you know, there was this great opportunity for the Imperium to essentially turn on itself as these new... These new versions of the Space Marines showed up, and a whole bunch of the existing Space Marines went, you do not mess with the Emperor's finest work, get this shit out of here, we're not having it. And there was a great chance for some internal conflict, for you know some, some actual interesting Civil War development. I mean, of course, the problem with that is that if the Imperium starts absolutely eating itself alive and their elite soldiers are beating the shit out of each other across the breadth of the, of their territory, 
And that obviously gives chaos a significant boost, and so maybe that's not particularly likely to happen. But it was something that was floated. There were multiple points in that storyline where it was like, oh, this, oh, this, uh, no, 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 this chapter does not like Prime Eric. Oh, they've accepted them anyway? Okay, sure, cool. Dark Angels being a prime example of, you know, all, all prepared to cause trouble, and then just, ah, no, it's fine, we'll take them. Like, it, that that felt like a, a missed opportunity. For that to happen now would be very weird, because we are now, like, what, 200 years on the timeline or whatever? So, for the lion to suddenly show up and go, oh no, actually, we're not having primaries, let's go to war with ourselves, that seems kind of unlikely. It could be something to do with maybe Space Wolves versus Dark Angels, maybe another chapter has discovered the the Dark Angels' secret of, you know, how a bunch of them are effectively traitors. Maybe something like that, but even that seems a little bit weird, it seems a little bit strange. I suppose you could also suggest, well, what if the lion has turned traitor? Maybe that's what's happened. Maybe he's actually attempting to form like an Imperium Secundus or something, or has actually fallen to chaos, but then that would probably not go down all that well, because for all of the for all of the like the memory of Dark Angels are actually traitors, um I don't know how how many people would actually approve of that being legitimate canon. Like it's it's very much like the joke. I'm not entirely sure that people would go, oh, you know, I I was actually really hoping that my chosen chapter would turn out to be chaos. That's really cool. I don't know if that would really work or go down well with the fan base as a whole. So it's a weird one. Because the thing is, it's one of those things where I'd quite like it to be true, but there's just so many bits that don't seem all that likely or seem all that reliable. It seems just a bit too out of left field. I wouldn't, I would not, ever think that Games Workshop would put a prime arc in one of those boxes. I also don't think that Games Workshop would just stick two different sets of like Space Marines in those boxes. Now, I'm saying that now. I know exactly what a whole bunch of you are now thinking. Have you forgotten about Burning of Prospero and Betrayal at Cal? That is literally exactly what they did. That is exactly what they did for the Horus Heresy, which was literally Space Marines fighting space marines that is what the horus heresy was those two boxes don't fall under the same umbrella as 40k yeah they were very useful and you could take the stuff that you got in them and make 40k armies out of it but they weren't built specifically for that they took place in the horus heresy as the names suggest yeah it was two boxes it was like a box of marines and it was marines versus marines but that was in a civil war setting that wasn't in 40k there isn't really, as far as... Well, I say there isn't a civil war setting in 40k. That's a lie, because chapters turn traitor all the time. There are constant uprisings. There's a whole load of bullshit that goes on where people just stop following the Emperor or decide they're going to, like, what is it, secede from the Imperium. All of that stuff. It does happen, but let's face it, it's not part of the current arc. Let's put it that way. At the moment, things are a fairly vigilous-focused, and we, we have the whole, the whole Great Rift issue. Civil War isn't really on the cards right this instant. I mean, it could be. It could be some sort of insane, crazy development whereby the Lion wakes up, goes, no, fuck you, and just heads off on his own. Takes the Dark Angels, goes and tries to form his own version of the Imperium, carves out a bit of space by himself, the Ultramarines go in to fight them. It's possible. I don't think it's plausible, though. (laughs) Possible and plausible are two completely different things. It's a weird one. It is a very weird one. It's one of those things where I would love it to be true, but I don't really see how it would work. There are details in there that are way too hazy. I mean, my best guess, my literally my best guess, would be that it's something to do with the fallen. I can, I can, I can easily see, well, more easily see a box that is Dark Angels versus Fallen, and the Fallen are getting some sort of upgrade. That would actually be very interesting. That would be kind of cool. It would be, it would be, it would be a, like a genuinely interesting way to expand on the Fallen and the Dark Angel slightly. If we actually had a box whereby you have the Dark Angel side led by whatever character they remodel, you have the Lion being released as a standalone product, and then you have on the other side of the box the Fallen who get expanded upon. 
they get access to more stuff or they have their own little mini codex or they get their own proper little index or like a white dwarf index or something like that. That's that's the if you were to stick with the lion versus imperials, that is the thing that I would go for. But then again, even then, the lion would be on the wrong side because you would think the lion would be with the imperials, not with the fallen, unless there's some sort of great trickery going on whereby he's somehow accidentally fighting on the side of the fallen against the it's 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 odd. It's weird. And I would kind of like something like that. But I don't know whether it's something that Games Workshop would go all in on. I don't know if we'd see a box that would be that convoluted and that that kind of reliant on external fluff. I mean, when you get right down to it, Necrons versus Admech was unusual, but it was also Imperium versus Xenos. Then we had, you know, we had Tooth and Claw, which was Imperium versus Xenos, and we had Way of the Dead, which was Imperium versus Xenos, and then of course Shadow Spear is just Imperium versus chaos which all of these are like there were some interesting combinations yeah but they were still standard a box that is like traitor primarch leading the fallen side of his chapter against his actual chapter or or like dark angels versus ultramarines due to them trying to carve out their own thing it it's it's a bit I'm not going to say obscure, but it would be it would be a tricky thing to pull off. Let's put it like that. So, yeah, that, that's very rambly, but that's all the things that I've been thinking about this, and I don't know how much of it really makes sense or how much of it just is nonsensical, in which case, how likely does it make it? I don't know. It's The idea of there being a new box is incredibly likely. It's the details which are baffling and don't really make any sense. So... Yeah, let me know what you think in the comments down below. In the meantime, thank you very much for watching. That went on for far longer than I meant it to. Click all the things if you want. Patreon, video, subscribe, all that shit. Click it if you like. Don't click if you don't want to. And uh, I will see you for the next one. Toodaloo.